Well, that ain't good. Um, got this error that the coolant was low a couple of days ago, and um, I just thought, you know, coolant was low just because we hadn't put any in in a while. And uh, so I went down to O'Reilly's, picked up a thing. It's already pre-diluted, so I didn't really do anything. I just poured it into the into the uh, reservoir and the uh, light went off and everything was good i thought everything was cool and then um we moved from silver creek washington up here to portland and uh, as we're we're driving up here we're pulling the fifth wheel and the uh light comes back on i'm like well, that's weird so i thought maybe it was just something i needed to reset on the uh in the alarms or alerts on the truck but um as soon as we got out of the truck after we parked got that um telltale um smell like that uh, toasted almond maple syrup smell so obviously we're leaking coolant from somewhere uh, i looked up under the truck and didn't see any like gushing um can't tell there's so much in there that i can't really tell whether it's just uh just a line issue or a connection issue or hopefully not a radiator issue so um <clears throat> and it's hard to get a mechanic uh, a lot of folks can't get us in for several weeks. We're only here for two weeks. And I mean, it happened as soon as we got here. So we immediately started calling. Some people can't even get us in in the two weeks that we are here. So um, we did call one place over in uh, Gresham or Grisham, Oregon, and recommended to us by a friend. And so we called them and they're going to get us in uh, next Friday. Uh, so today is a Thursday. So um, eight days from now is as soon as we can get in so I guess we will just keep adding coolant to this thing it's not overheating I keep watching the temperature gauge and it's not overheating so I don't think it's a, a quick leak so we'll just keep adding coolant to it and uh, and not drive as much as we normally would for the couple weeks we're here luckily we have some friends that are local and so hopefully they'll be our tour guides and and do a lot of the driving so um between now and and next friday anyway so that we don't have to worry about our our truck overheating so we're still going to explore still going to have a good time and hopefully it's not an expensive repair we're at the battery russell okay at fort <laughs> stevens yeah yeah, yeah. Well, this is where all the big guns were. There was, uh, at one time, there was big, uh, like, cannons here. And you can see the circular um, formation of this. That's where the guns would actually rotate. So you'd have the gun barrel. This would be way up high. The gun is sticking way up high. Yeah. And then um, whatever direction you need to point the gun, there's, like, cranks and the different... Pulley um, system. Pull, yeah, well, it's kind of like um, gears. Yeah. That would grab hold of it, and it would turn that whole freaking gun whatever way you wanted to, to turn it and so because this is out like on a on a peninsula you could point it out into the ocean or into the into the bay so it kind of covered a bunch of areas and there's another uh there's another battery area in a different location where some of the guns are still on site i don't know if we're gonna go see that today but it's cool to see that it's still out here mm -hmm. and still kind of an, intact enough to see how it works yeah i don't see gun turret what do you see I see a sacrifice. <laughs> a sacrifice? <laughs> yes. Like, like Indiana Jones? Yes. See, yes, you get it. Like this wouldn't have been here, obviously, but we've been all dark and just chanting and all that stuff. And they got some chick tied up at the stake, ready to sacrifice her. They're going to tilt the board down. And they're going to slice her and drain her and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> That's what I see. Are you okay? <laughs> Holy crap. I watched too much TV. But okay. that's what I saw. That's dark. <laughs> Hit me. No, not literally. <laughs> like hit me with whatever craziness that you think this is. Medieval torture rack or whatever. 
Oh, um, maybe. Is that a bat? Yeah. I don't know. It could either be oh. hanging meat. <laughs> you could hang somebody upside down by their feet. You could drain them that way. Bleed them out. Or I don't know if they're like into the shrunken heads, but you could be hanging. Okay. In. okay, let me tell you what it's actually used for. <laughs> the the gun is right over here. Down in the basement is where they stored all the ammo, and those rounds are, are super heavy. They had a pulley system here, so they would load the rounds down there. They would pulley them up, pull them out here, put them on a cart, move them over to the guns to be shot out. Mine sounds more interesting. Yours does sound more interesting, but mine is true. <laughs> <laughs> the Astoria Tower. It's a big tower. It is a big tower. It's cool, though. It is awesome. And it's like the history of Oregon. Yeah. If you... Uh, if you well, it spirals around, so you yeah. have to like walk circles follow the story. around and follow the story all the way up, and <laughs> yeah. then you you puke, and I mean, then you go up you know. top to check out the views. That's Is that how, how it, works. it goes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to puke. <laughs> well, you probably did if you walked all the way around that thing and read the whole story. Yeah, and stuff. you probably would. Yeah, and then let's spin this way and show the other view. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> well, that didn't make you puke. <laughs> There's a uh, great view of the bay but, yeah. down here too. So there's that's large nice. out there. See the, very cool. The big bridge and yeah. all the stuff. So it's very nice down there. We'll show you views of all that stuff. And then we're going to go top side. Oh joy. Lots of stairs. Yeah. I wonder how many stairs it is. It's a, but it's a spiral case too, yep. isn't it? I hate spiral <laughs> staircases. Second one of the day. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I am dizzy. Yeah, I'm a little dizzy too. God, I hate oh. spiral cases. We couldn't vlog from up there. Uh, Tight quarters. It was very tight and it was like everybody's really close to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's cool views up there. Yeah. 164 steps is yeah. the answer. Circling steps. Spiraling up. <laughs> Spiraling feel the burn down. going up for sure. Yeah, well, yeah, you did feel that. And then um, no burn coming down, but it did. Uh, it screws make you, with makes your you head, dizzy. man. Yeah. Yeah. Just the constant rotating. It's worth coming though. Five yeah. bucks, you're in. Yeah. Well, today we're out on Trillium Lake, which uh, has one of the best views of of Mount Hood in the whole state. However, the forest fires have impeded the, the, the view back there, but on a normal day it would be very clear. But uh, we're out here with Jerry and Teresa from Happy Place Diaries and his sister, um, Robin Muggy. Yeah, her her husband and their kids, so, which is pretty cool. They were gracious enough to loan us some kayaks to come out here and hang out today. And uh, so not a super exciting day, but just very relaxing. And we're gonna hang out here on the lake and um, there will probably be a few shenanigans had, uh, but we're gonna have fun out here. Uh, and uh, the smoke is, is pretty bad, but uh, we're gonna enjoy it anyway. Get my good side. Yeah. Uh, Hang on. <laughs> Your good side. Uh, oh, well, I see it now. Yeah. There, go. there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to work a camera. <laughs> so, what would happen if you tipped over and fell in? I would be unconscious. <laughs> Somebody no. would have to save me because even though I'm a strong swimmer, I would be unconscious and I would drown. You, you can stand up. No, I wouldn't. You can see nothing. I would in not this put my, steep. I wouldn't put my feet on there. Absolutely not. <laughs> Plus, once I make contact with the water, I'm unconscious. So, <laughs> it's just a fact. I can't help it.
about as far as I go. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's doing dishes. Yeah. And we're getting ready to go out on the lake with some new friends. Um, Timothy Lake. Never been to Timothy Lake before, but we've been told by friends it's beautiful. Yeah, I've heard it's awesome. So, um, thank you to them for taking us out on their boat. And yeah. uh, so we got some sandwiches packed up. We're gonna spend the day out on the water, and hopefully the um, the smoke won't be as big of a factor as it has been. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, because we'd like to see some good views today. We're gonna <laughs> go on the lake. Scott's gonna stay here. Yeah. Scout. You gonna hold down the fort, bud? Okay. That look means yes. All right. <laughs> well, you have fun today, sir. And we'll be on the water. Good day. All right, Leslie's gonna feel the yeah, water. Tell us how cold it is. Sweet Jesus, that's cold. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy cow. So yeah, I get it when you say it's glacier water. Yeah. You know, it's, it's snow melted water. That is freezing. Good Lord. But it's clear. It is clear. So you could swim in it. No. Nothing swims in here. Yeah, I know, but no, out there, no. Right here where the rock is, yes. In the blue, no. Why not? Because it's not it's not clear enough. I could see a 40-foot tree down there. Uh, well, I see it too, but something could sneak up. There's if, nothing in there. If somebody put something in there, it would sneak up. The water's like 36 degrees. <laughs> that is so cold. But no, I would not venture out there. I'd stay right here on the rock ledge. Okay. That's, that's it. We've been on the water for a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful lake. Yeah. Bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Way bigger than I thought. And um, when we stopped for lunch, we fueled up and then went back out on the lake a little bit. Yep. And what's amazing is the the underwater stuff. Yes. I am loving all the tree trunks. Yeah, because they just look like the veins running running oh down through God. the through it's the like water. Like spidered veins out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. Insane. But it is beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so much to do. Like so there's people out here like kayaking and paddleboarding and Floating. boats. But this this lake is restricted to 10 miles an hour yeah. only if yeah. you're on a motor Motored boat. boat. Yeah. If you're motorboating. <laughs> Stop it. You can motorboat, you just gotta do it a little slower than you do yeah. on most lakes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun. And uh uh -huh. so um what else is there to do out here? Swimming, fishing, fishing. there's trout out here. And crawfish. Yeah, there's, you see the little jugs Traps and the buoys. I don't there. know if you saw yeah. any of the footage that I got, but there's the little jugs, so they're connected to lines that are connected to crawfish traps. Yeah. So you need a crawfish out here. And then, so a lot of the primitive camping all around the lake. Yeah. And a lot of them you can only get to with a boat. With a boat. So yeah. whatever you pack in, you got to pack out. Yeah. But I guess some people will come out here for the weekend or whatever. They'll do their crawfishing. They'll come back to camp. They'll cook it. Yeah. Hang out. Drank a little bit. Okay. Uh, get rowdy. Yeah, but it's yeah. fun. It's, it's a nice like A little smokier than what I was hoping for. Yeah. Uh, hoping to get a better view of Mount Hood, uh, but like yesterday. It's better than yesterday's view. Yeah. A little bit. But it is. Uh, it has cleared up a little bit. But again, with still, all the forest fires, yeah. Uh, nothing we can do to control that. No. Nope. But still, very beautiful out here. Yeah. So um, we're gonna go back very out. Very relaxing. And we'll show you some more. Okay.
Well, that was fun. Yeah. I had a great time. And uh, just to kind of let you know what happened with the truck situation from the beginning yeah. of the video, it was a water pump. Yep. And it cost us $1,100. Yeah. This is why you have a plan. <laughs> this is why you have backup money because That's right. an issue like this, over $1,000 like that, for one part, yeah. could slow down your travels. Yeah. Could even take you off the road if you're. Could really close on yeah. money financially but anyway that's why we have backup money yep it stings a little bit but uh it's just gonna not even gonna really slow yeah. us down at all um it just it kept us from driving for about a week or so but jerry and Teresa <laughs> chauffeured us chauffeured us around <laughs> even took us out kayaking and had a yeah. good time with them and showed us a bunch of different places around the area yeah beautiful yeah i wish that smoke would have been a little more yeah. thin but well, i'm sure now that we're gone I'm it, sure it's it, great it's now. It's cleared up and it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> and then hanging out on the lake, uh, Timothy Lake, you know, with Mark yeah. and Terry and getting to meet them. Awesome people. So thank yes. you guys for taking us out. Um, we had a great time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's it from here. We're moving on down uh, southern Oregon. Yep. And we get to see some more. So um, we're looking forward to that. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Yeah. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.